I'm at 20,000 subscribers and I want to share with you a little video about why that is so important to me and we're gonna have a reaction video I've never done this before I'm sharing with you the very first video I made not quite three years ago and it's the first video I made showing my face I thought I would share with you guys today some of the cleaning products I do use and when I first started this journey, I was so bombarded with all the new organic products. I was out trying to buy everything, and that became a money pit, which is easy to do. First thing I'm thinking is, wow, how much younger I look. And it's only been not even three years. I started making my videos soon after I had an operation. I had a gallbladder operation. I had lost a lot of weight, and I had a life threatening condition because of it. I had pancreatitis and some uh, issues. After the operation, I was really weak. And I cannot help but notice how much younger I look. And I just, it's amazing. There's so much about me that is the same from then to today, but there's so much about me that is different. I gained quite a bit of weight since my very first video. Uh, a lot of that has to do with just my age, um, I think I've had a lot of stress in these last couple years, and so many things have changed in my life. I am really amazed at the quality content of the video. It was given to me by my son, a little iPad that was really old. And in the video, you see me bending over to pick something up. There was no editing in those videos. <laughs> and. While people like real life, sometimes you do have to edit a video, you know. So let's keep watching. So I will show you the products I use, which basically cost pennies. All right. So these are the basic products that I used. Arm & Handers Laundry Washing Soda. This I use for my laundry detergent and I use to make my dish soap. A little bit goes a long way um, and I will share with my recipes with you in a future post. I still but there's use so the many recipes products. out there that you can easily find them. No homestead should be without baking soda. And baking soda is reasonably very cheap too and I use this as my scouring powder um, I use this. In Actually, I think I'm doing quite well in my speaking and explaining I things. I put a little bit in my laundry soap as well. Bottle vinegar. White vinegar. White vinegar is so great for everything, for disinfecting all of my pails, for disinfecting my washer tub. And what I do with my vinegar is, I add a little tea tree oil. So this would be full with vinegar. Add a couple of drops of tea tree oil. And that is a disinfectant. Or add a couple drops of eucalyptus oil. This I saw on Doug and Stacy's Off Grid Homestead, and this is amazing. Um, I think I got this for six dollars, and a couple drops in the vinegar, and you put it as a. Um, so you hear me say about Doug and Stacy. It's hard to believe, but back then Doug and Stacy wasn't the big channel they are today. And Doug would numerously comment my videos. And as you know, in a video I've done way in the past, you know, I told him I would never become anything on YouTube. And he said the words, never say never, Tessie. And I know from time to time, he used to stop in and check my channel. Um, and it is just amazing. It's just amazing how far, you know, I've come because of all of you. And I'm just so grateful. Okay fabric softener in your washer or like me when I hand wash and the scent is amazing and when I line my stuff in the dryer I mean in, out in the clothesline or have it in my um, drying rack the vinegar dissipates and the smell of eucalyptus is there and it is amazing it's very strong so you don't need much of it but it is amazing when your clothes are dry it smells so fresh and clean Zoat soap Walmart sells it for 97 cents and this is a big bar. This I use from a homemade laundry soap. I'm sure you've seen all the recipes so I don't need to share that. And I use this for a little bit of my dish soap as well. 
I keep a canister with my dish soap water in it, and I just put a couple squirts in each time. The Fells Napa is twice the price, and I don't really care for the scent of it. But if you do have really greasy clothes, if your husband does you know a lot of outside work or does a lot of um, machinery work, you might want to try the Fells Napa. But this gets the average clothes really clean, and it has a really clean smell. Wow, my voice doesn't go with my yes, I know. sound. Dr. Bronner soap. Yes, I know. Ten dollars to twelve dollars for a bottle. But if you're lucky like me, I found this for dollar seventy-five at my local thrift store. This stuff can go a long way. A couple squirts, and when I make my gallon of dish soap, a couple squirts, and a gallon of water or two gallons of water for washing your floors, it's all you need. So this can last a long time. You also can use this as shampoo. Uh, I've been doing that for a little while now. I have no problems with it. Some people think it dries their hair out, but I haven't had a problem with that. This stuff is great. Now with essential oils. In the beginning of my journey, I got really into essential oils. And they're great. I have nothing against them. But they get so expensive. When you get the off-grade grade ones, they're still $10 $11 a bottle. But I do get two that I keep on hand all the time. And it's over here so you can see. It's the peppermint and it's the lemon oil. The lemon oil I use, like again, with vinegar and a couple drops of that and that smells really amazing too so that's just an idea this is what I use I barely use anything else if somebody gives me some products that they no longer want I'm really known for that if people have things they don't want they know where they can send them because they know that I'll use them up but my own spending purchasing money that's what I use that is what I use for everything have a great day everyone see you real soon Wow. I think it's all self-explanatory. You know, there's that innocence there. And no matter how much of that innocence you have in the beginning, you lose a little bit of that just simply because it's the hard knocks of life and the hard knocks of YouTube. You know, that's my very first video where I'm showing my face and it's like maybe the fourth video. And, <laughs> you know, it's really amazing. And... I've come a long way and I have so much further to come. You know, who knows in another couple years when I do this reaction video, what will I look like? <laughs> it makes you really it makes you really wonder what life is gonna hold. I never told anybody this, not even my husband. But when I made my very first videos, I often thought about what would it be like to be on YouTube and in those days make it big. To me, making it big was 10,000 subscribers. But in the back of my mind, I always thought, what if I could get 20,000 subscribers? You know, I don't know why that number played such a role with me. I really should go back and see what number Doug and Stacy was um, at that time. I know they weren't very, very big. There must have been someone that had a channel that was 20,000 subscribers that I just really admired. A lot has happened in these last couple years and I don't remember the reason why but 20,000 subscribers was something that I deep down longed to have. Maybe I thought at 20,000 subscribers life would be easier for us here at home or maybe I just thought that was a goal that was just unimaginable and so I fantasized about it. You know, what do I say? I often say it's like a football game. I often say it's like people that are in the public eye that won great awards. I often say it's like a preacher who is preaching. It's the people that are there is what makes you who you are. And, you know, if you have let's just say the Eagles football team if nobody watched their games they would never have won championships they have, would never have won Super Bowls and if they did it wouldn't have mattered because there would have been nobody there to see it. The channels will say you know I've made 
10,000, I made 20,000, I made 50,000, I made 100,000. They didn't make anything. It's because of the people who watch their channel. I say this, I say I made a platform. I did, I made a platform, but if nobody heard my voice, nobody was interested in my life, I wouldn't be anywhere. And tomorrow it could all be gone. I remember back when I first made my channel and I got my first 300 and then I got my first 500 and I got my first thousand and then at my 10,000 giveaway I gave everyone garden seeds that needed it that wanted it at that time I had a window of opportunity and I gave over 750 uh, envelopes to different residences of my garden seeds because I wanted to pay back people for what they'd done for me I wanted to give something back you have all these giveaways and only one person wins or two people win and you're all winners stories have really helped me there were times in my life in my YouTube channel that were very stressful there were times in my life where I had relationships where I didn't know how to handle it because people would do this or people would do that I would cry at night because I was so afraid and I would cry at night because of things people said to me that hurt my feelings you know I came a long way neither of those things bother me anymore whatsoever I've learned to stand on my own two feet but that's not because I did it on my own there were many times that came on my channel and I asked you could you lift me up and you held me over those times I made a lot of mistakes in my YouTube channel. I've made a lot of failures. I have a lot of flaws. But one thing holds true is that I'm always honest and open. When I make mistakes, I publicly tell you I've made mistakes. When things are said, I publicly try to be honest in my reactions to them. It's been hard at times it hasn't been easy but you all given me that strength and my courage to go on the Lord allowed me to have a YouTube channel because the Lord allowed me to have a voice the Lord gave me strength to start all of this but the Lord used all of you whether you believe in him or not he used you to help build me up the circle always goes around you often say how I helped you through some difficulties in your life you helped me and I just really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart I am not I don't take it for granted that I am here I don't take it for granted about the 20,000 subscribers there are always people that come and go in your life and somebody told me one day and it made so much sense they said people are like leaves on a tree some stay on the tree and others just blow away with the wind but my core audience and my core supporters are here with me <sighs> to think of all of the people that are still here after so long here's to another 20,000 subscribers Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This video is a dedication to my son, Scott. He saw in me destiny. He saw in me that I had a voice. His whole life, he knew me. His whole life, he knew only one thing, that I was his mom. He knew that my whole life was dedicated to my children. At the age of 17, I got married. I quit high school. And by the age of 19, I had three children. He knew I lived a very sheltered life. My life was revolved around my children and my husband. For years he asked me to do a YouTube channel and for years I said no. I 
I said to him, what could I do? What could I say? Because at that time, my self-esteem was so low. I had an ugly front tooth and I really wasn't a social type person in public. He said, Mom, you have a story to tell. He said, Mom, you will find some friends. Did he get me into YouTube? Through these last couple years, he's made great sacrifices. Me cameras, he's given me computers. And the last four weeks, he's given me hours of his time. Children, my two daughters and my son believe in me and they believe in what I'm doing. My husband fully believes in me. He believes in what I'm doing. Without them, I would have never done this. Sorry this video got a little long, but there were some things that needed to be said, credits that needed to be given. And my husband always seen in me that I have potential. Even when I failed to think so. I grew up not believing in myself. I grew up feeling I didn't have any potential. Just to know that somebody cares, somebody loves you, is all the support you need. Sometimes I tell people, love you my sister, love you my brother. That confused a lot of people when they came to my channel, they didn't understand, even though I've done videos about it. I don't see you as a number, but as a subscriber, as a friend. You don't have number 20 or 50. You are my friends. You've been with me through thick and thin and I'm honored to call you my family.